Now in question number three, we're given that the acceleration is equal to 6i then plus 8j. And we've got to find out the angle that the acceleration makes with the i component. So I feel a diagram here would be the best thing we could do. So what we've got is an acceleration which is going to be something like this. Okay, let's call that A. And it's going to have a component of six units then in the I direction, followed by eight units upwards there in the J direction. And this is the angle that I want to find. Let's call it theta. So it's a right angle triangle, and I can find the angle theta by just using trigonometry. This side is the opposite side to the angle, and the 6, this side here, is the adjacent side. And that's going to be the tan ratio. So therefore we have that the tan of theta is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So that's 8 units over 6 units. So theta would be equal to the inverse tan of 8 over 6. And if you work that out on the calculator, what you get is 53.1301 and so on. And that turns out to be 53.1 degrees say to three significant figures. Okay, so that brings us to the end of part A. Now in part B, we're asked to find the magnitude of the force F. Now we know that F, okay, is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, and notice how I'm underlining the vectors for F and A. This is a vector-based question, so make sure that you do that. So we have that F is equal to the mass. Well, we know the mass of this particle is 0.4 kilograms, so that's 0.4, times the acceleration, which is 6i plus 8j. And... If we work this out, expanding the bracket, you're going to get 2.4 in the i direction and 0.4 times 8 is 3.2 in the j direction. Now to work out the magnitude of any vector, in this case f, what you're going to need to do is do the sum of the squares of the i and j components and then square root them. So that would be the square root then of 2.4 squared plus 3.2 squared. And that comes to 16. So it's the square root of 16 and that's going to be 4. 4 newtons then is the magnitude of the force F. And finally in part C we're asked to find the final velocity V after 5 seconds, given that the initial velocity when t is naught is 6i plus 8j. And what you're going to need to do now is use the formula v equals u plus at. And again, notice how I'm underlining the vectors there. So we know the initial velocity. The initial velocity, i.e. when t was 0, we're given is 9i plus 10j. And then it's plus the acceleration, and we know the acceleration is 6i plus 8j, so that's 6i plus 8j. And that is multiplied by the time t of 5. Okay, 5 seconds. If we work that out, what you get is 9i plus 10j. And expanding the bracket here gives 30 in the i direction and 40 in the j direction. Grouping up your i's and j's, 9i and 30i, that's going to be 39i. And 10j and 40j is 50j. And that's the 
velocity in meters per second of the particle after five seconds. It doesn't ask us to find the speed. If it did, we would need to do the square root of 39 squared plus 50 squared. But as I say, it doesn't ask the speed, just velocity here, so that is the end of the question.